Are you praying that this is the month that you finally conceived your little one? Are you so aware of all the little tweaks that are going on down there? Well, in this video, I hope to share a few things to look out for. Perhaps this is your month. I'm Kelly, I'm a fertility coach, and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do click the subscribe button, click the bell so that you're alerted every time I release a video on fertility, getting you pregnant and discussing all the things that the fertility industry is not discussing. That's helping couples getting finally pregnant and to their little babies. So I battled for three years to conceive my girls. That's 36 months of wondering, is this going to be the month? Now it would be pretty helpful to know what you should be looking for or how you should perhaps be feeling in order to know whether this is your month. So before you even start the most important thing to understand and know is when you are ovul ovulating ovulation is the beginning of the whole process and knowing that day or those days when you feel ovulation is happening is pretty key to this all unfolding and you're getting to your baby knowing when you're ovulating is great using your app however the most important and definitely the most accurate way to know whether ovulation has happened is to observe your cervical mucus your cervical mucus around your ovulation time is that egg white, very um, sticky yet clear discharge that uh, allows those sperm to be carried towards the egg that has just been released from your ovary. Ensuring that intercourse happens just before, during and after ovulation can ensure that there are sperm around when that egg is released. The egg is then released and the sperm joins or meets up with the egg normally in the fallopian tubes. Where the egg has been released from the follicle in the ovary, that becomes the corpus luteum. The corpus luteum is there to start to release progesterone to potentially create an environment optimum for fertilization and implantation to happen. The fertilized embryo on day three is called a marula, and then by day five, it's called a blastocyst. It's just a bigger group of cells as that fetus starts to grow. Around day five, that blastocyst arrives in the uterus and it then potentially starts to nestle into the uterine wall. Keep remembering that the blastocyst only starts to implant into the uterine wall around day five to day nine post ovulation. So it is really silly and unnecessary to test ever before day five to day nine. Now, as that blastocyst implants into the uterine wall, a hormone called HCG begins to be released. Now that's the hormone that is picked up in pregnancy tests and it starts to increase as that blastocyst, the outer layer will become the placenta and the inner layer will become the fetus. So it's important to remember that rising progesterone levels have very similar, if not the same symptoms as rising HCG levels. So an increase in progesterone will cause symptoms like enlarged or tender breasts, smell sensitivities, food aversions, an upset tummy, bloating or constipation, extreme fatigue, as well as perhaps a very creamy thin discharge that can be released if implantation has happened. So it's really important to observe yourself every month and see what your increasing progesterone levels are looking like. These symptoms can be in caused by increased progesterone or increased HCG. This is where it gets confusing. So what should you look for? Normally, it's one of those symptoms is pretty heightened. So you normally will feel quite sensitive to smell or very fatigued or extremely um, bloated or constipated, as well as around day eight, you will often feel a little bit of cramping and perhaps have a bit of spotting as that blastocyst slowly implants into the uterine wall. Now it's really important to remember that not everyone has these symptoms. Some ladies can go through an entire pregnancy with absolutely no progesterone or HCG symptoms and they can also have a very healthy implantation with no cramping or spotting. But it's really normal to feel a heightened sensitivity to one of those symptoms as well as perhaps a little bit of cramping or even a little bit of spotting around day eight um, post ovulation. 
How many months have you been trying for? Have you been aware of any increasing symptoms uh, of progesterone or perhaps even HCG? Have you felt those rise in hormones? Please comment below and let me know. So then let's get to it. Let's summarize. What should we or perhaps could we be feeling if this is our month and this is the month we've conceived our baby? Commonly, you may feel some cramping around day eight post ovulation. That's when that blastocyst starts to uh, nestle into the uterine wall and uh, that outer layer starts to grow into the uterine wall and become the placenta and the fetal cells starting increase and increase and slowly grow into your baby. So cramping around day eight is common, perhaps even some spotting as it breaks into that uterine wall. The other thing you could feel is an increase in those progesterone symptoms because of the increased levels of HCG. So you may have extremely sensitive breasts or a little bit more aversion to that cooking smell of chicken downstairs, or perhaps you're really tired this month. Those are the two common things to look for if implantation and pregnancy have occurred. However, some people feel nothing. They may have absolutely no sensation as implantation happens, and their hormone levels, although they are increasing absolutely perfectly, they may not be causing symptoms that they're aware of. This is completely normal. The most important thing to remember is to not test for your pregnancy. Do not waste your time and money and emotions having taking a pregnancy test before day eight post ovulation. Then it's also really important to keep in mind that if you have been on a fertility journey for a while, living in two week blocks of your life, the two week wait, then if you are unfortunately not pregnant, having your period and then the two weeks of trying to conceive and then the two week wait, living in those two week blocks, perhaps you need to address some other things that are happening within your body. Have you looked at where your head's at? Have you worked at any of your emotional fears or blocks? And have you connected with this baby on an intuitive or spiritual level? That's what I'm here to do. I'm here to talk about the things that are not necessarily getting discussed in the fertility clinic. So as you wait and potentially hold thumbs for a beautiful, healthy pregnancy, reach out. Perhaps some of this reframing has resonated with you. Perhaps you do wonder if there's something holding you back from conceiving. I would love to connect and I would love to help you. If this interests you, perhaps you want to download my free ebook down below. Uh, it's entitled, Are You a High Achieving Woman Struggling to Conceive? It will help open up the emotional block world and perhaps discover, allow you to discover something you didn't know sitting in your fertility space. I really pray that this is your month I pray that your baby is here and that your fertility journey is over. But if not, and if this interests you, click that subscribe button, ring that bell and keep in touch as I open up this world uh, from a few different angles, discussing emotions, the mindset, our neural programming, our trauma lines, as well as our spiritual connection to the babies that will choose us. If this work is resonating with you, and you enjoyed this video, watch this one. It will give you a little bit more information as to the approach that I like to take when talking and working with people in the fertility space. I really am here to help every single couple get to their babies. Don't let anyone ever tell you that you won't or can't have a child. If that light is on in your heart, there is a way, there always is, and perhaps it's just not through something physical. Perhaps it's an emotional, mental or spiritual angle we need to approach this at. I look forward to hearing from you and connecting.